This channel supports Extra Life in its efforts to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network. For more information about how to donate and join in their efforts, go to the link displayed here. Extra Life. Play games. Heal kids. What up everybody, it's your boy Black Magus and um, just thinking about things, it's been a while since I've been um, posting, uh, well a while being a week which is good for me because I've been hesitant in putting up stuff, making excuses and today I had an interesting conversation with someone about doing content and it just dawned on me that I have continually put obstacles in my way. Not just when it comes to making content, but when it comes to life, period. And it's just, you know, ultimately, I came to the realization that, hey, you need to stop it. Like, you can make up so many excuses. Like, the conversation generally aired towards, like, in order to be able to produce stuff, we should get certain type of equipment, things that are, like, kind of... Um, you know, need it that may have access to already, but of a better quality. Now, I do definitely appreciate better quality when it comes to things, but um, I feel like, from my perspective now, like because I used to do this too. I used to always say, "Well, I don't have certain such and such this. I don't have such and such that." I used to just like, yo, until I have ABC, I don't think I should be doing this. When you kind of do have ABC, it's just not at a certain level. Like webcams, um, microphones, uh, you know, all types of stuff, software, you name it. Um, but I've forgot, I think out of like hesitance and fear of failure, I tend to I tend to forget that a lot of people that I've seen, people that I know, especially who have gained success in doing podcasts, in doing YouTube, in doing Twitch, in streaming, other content creating, they didn't start out with the best of best. They started out with what they had, and they grew because of their personality and quality in a different way. Not quality of their equipment, but quality of their work, like how they entertain people, how they engage people, um, subject matter, things like that. They caught people's attention and gained interest and they continued to grow, grow to a point where they could start to profit from it. And as they started to profit, they started to improve themselves. And I feel like I've always been that person to always kind of say like, if I don't have everything settled in place, it's not gonna work. But as I like look at things now and at the point of my life that I'm in, <sighs> I wasted way too much time just waiting for the perfection. And the thing is, life isn't perfect. There's no such thing as a completely perfect scenario. It may feel perfect, but it's not going to be 100% perfect. And you have to accept the flaws. In fact, if you want to know what's perfect, perfection is the ability to be able to accept what you can and cannot do, what you have and do not have, and basically take the positives and the negatives and appreciate the positives more than you do the negatives, or re at least realize that the negatives aren't as scathing as you like to make them out to be. Like, you find happiness in not necessarily settling, but in making peace with knowing that, hey, Nothing's going to be 100% perfect. There is not, you know, rarely do we see people get everything they want exactly how they want. Um, perfect mates, for example, you know, they're not perfect. They may be quote unquote perfect for you, but only because they're, they, they're whatever shortcomings or whatever things that they have that may bother you aren't fucking, you know, as big as the positive. That's the thing. We find perfection in finding what, you know, finding that balance, I guess you could say, in life. Um, and we, you know, recognize 
the best of a situation. And that's where we find our profession in because again, it's not selling, it's just that we realize like, hey, this is what makes me happy. Despite whatever's going on around me, this is what makes me happy. Perfect, and that's, I, I guess that's the perfect scenario life is like being happy, being engaged in what you love to do, following your passions, that's perfection. You know what I mean? And I think like if we start to think more towards the lines of like following our heart, following our passions, following, you know, doing what makes us happy or finding, you know, peace in certain things, we'll be much, much better off. I think um, part of it is because of the decisions that I made recently, I've kind of started to find peace in certain things and it's kind of pushing me towards it. So that's why I, you know, feel like I had that kind of revelation today during this conversation. Like, God, you know, think about it. <laughs> like, it, 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 I think it would really help if you go that route. I'm not pushing, like, my feelings on you guys because I hate when people push how they feel and things like that on others. But just, you know, giving you some food for thought, hopefully. Anyway. As always, you guys, feel free to hit me up. Let me know what you think, and I'll hug you later. This is your boy, Black Makers, and I'm out. Deuces.